everybody I'm here today to tell you about the sad truth about demo cars now demo cars are also known as dealer showroom cars they're basically those cars that you find in the showroom of the dealership now demo cars are interesting because they're not exactly new cars but they're not exactly used cars because they're cars that have been driven but have never actually been sold to a different person so they're not new because they have been driven but they're not used because they haven't been sold to anyone so they sort of fall in this green area somewhere in between and there are not any specific rules and regulations that I know of that classifies a demo car other than something that has kilometers on it but hasn't been sold to someone else okay most of the time they'll have very you know little kilometers on them but still you know definitely not new okay um, so usually demo cars are driven by managers or sales reps okay um, as like you know, temporary vehicles that they want to test out to learn the car or even just to have a car for a couple weeks. Um, or they're even used as test drive vehicles. So, you know, they'll, they'll have a dedicated car that they use for giving test drives to people. Um, and they're just a dedicated test drive vehicle. Now, the warranty of these cars usually starts, I can't say all the time, but usually starts when the vehicles are driven, not when you buy it. So keep that in mind. If the car has a one year warranty on it, let's just say, for instance, the you Usually, usually the year starts not when you buy the car, but usually when the car is starting to be driven. So maybe the car has been driven for three months already, and therefore you will have only left only nine months remaining on that uh, warranty. So that is usually the case, not all the time, but that's usually the case. Um, so I can say that most of the time the warranty will be affected, and you should definitely keep that in mind. And that's definitely a con about these cars. And I'll get to the real sad truth. Right now I'm just giving you the outline of all about them, and then I'll get to the sad truth now the pros so the con is that the warranty likely has already started and probably been used up significantly um the the, the pro is that you can save a bit of money not that much usually maybe a couple thousand bucks not that much money but definitely a bit of money um and also a con is that the car has been uh, no no has been driven has no choice of options so that car is red with this trim level and this set of options there is nothing else that you can essentially choose you can't add anything to it or subtract you can't change the color it is what it is you're buying that car as is okay so now the sad truth do i recommend buying it or not to be honest with you there's a very specific market for demo cars and that is people that want to save a couple thousand bucks and will view the demo car as being basically new even though it's not they'll view it as only having those kilometers on it let's say the demo car is 3,000 kilometers on it the person is going to view it as a 3,000 kilometer car or i'm going to put 3,000 kilometers on it in a month so why would I pay a couple thousand extra dollars? I can save a few thousand and get a demo car. And you know, it's like I've driven it for a month already. But in reality, you don't know how it was driven. That's the real factor here. You know, if it's being taken for test drives, sure, most likely the person took it easy on the car, but realistically the person, there are a couple people that test drove it that probably really gave it gas and floored that gas pedal when the car was new, when the engine wasn't even broken in. Okay, number one. Number two, if the sales rep or the manager took it, you don't know how they drove it. Yes, they probably drove it nicely but what happens if you get a car that the guy or girl ripped for a full month day and night you're buying a sports car you know and they ripped it day and night um for a month now it's a now it's a totally different situation and you don't know that so here's the here's the thing if you want to save a couple thousand bucks and you don't mind taking the small risk of maybe getting a car that has been really driven hard and also not caring about the options and the color demo car is the way to go for you but the sad truth of the matter is that it really is not a good idea for most people to purchase a demo car i would argue it's a bad choice for 95 out of 100 people to purchase a demo car because they're going to care if the car has been driven hard they're going to want to choose their options and also you know saving the couple thousand bucks is not really worth it for most people you know if you work as for some people it is for other people it's not it all depends on the situation now there is one other situation if you can lease a demo car that's when it makes sense so if you can lease it it totally makes sense in that situation 
because you know and when you're leasing it you're only gonna have the car for three years if that car was driven or four years or two years whatever it is if that car was driven hard for a month the problems probably won't show up until a few years at least down the line five six seven years down the line when the seals might start to break on the engine and so forth you're gonna the car will be out of your hands by that point. So if you're leasing it and you can save maybe 30 bucks a month on your lease payment by getting a demo car instead, then that sort of makes sense for most people. But in terms of purchasing it, it in my opinion, it's not really a great idea. I've considered it. It doesn't really, doesn't really make too much sense for the most people most people within that marketplace and that's it that is the sad truth about demo cars otherwise known as dealer showroom cars if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching